Hello everyone, we welcome you to our channel ASLP Club. So we received a lot of comments on our earlier video on BSLP. We are glad that our audience are curious to know about the scope of BSLP. Therefore, our today's video is all about the scope of audiology wherein we are going to give information on how widely the audiology field has grown, its areas of practice, that is where all audiologists are prescribed to work, what actually their jobs are, what population do they work with and more. Therefore, it defines audiologists as independent practitioners and this video will also provide examples of settings in which they are engaged. In this video, we are only giving you information on audiology aspect and not speech language pathology. Stay connected with our channel as we will be uploading the scope in speech language pathology also very soon. As discussed in our previous videos about BSLP, which stands for Bachelors in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, is an allied medical healthcare professional course which particularly includes all the issues related to hearing and speaking abilities. Please do watch our informative video on BSLP. Let's see what is audiology. As the name refers, it is a study of hearing. It is a branch of science that studies particularly hearing, balance and related disorders. Professionals of this field are called audiologists. To be precise, audiologists are professionals who help people with any kind of ear or balance problems by evaluating and treating them. Audiologists identify, assess, diagnose and treat individuals with impairment of either peripheral or central auditory and vestibular function and strive to prevent such impairments. They are independent practitioners who provide services in hospitals, clinics, schools, private practices and other settings in which audiological services are relevant. So, here on I will be sharing you all the information regarding audiologists, to whom they provide their services and what and where all they work. So let's begin. Now talking on professional roles and responsibilities, ASLPs provide a broad range of services to individuals with hearing, balance, speech, language and communication problems like prevention and identification. Audiologists work on promoting hearing health. They do so by preventing hearing disorders in children and adults. They may do so maybe by conducting appropriate hearing conservation and noise management programs in schools, industries and communities. They implement screening programs for newborns, school children or industry workers, where they carry out simple hearing measures and identify people who are having ear problems and advocate them for further treatment. For example, if there is a child who have trouble listening and parents or teachers may complain of poor performance in school, a medical checkup that include hearing check may aware the teachers or parents that their child is having some issues listening and learning. And audiologists accurate recommendations could help the child follow the treatment. As mostly problems with ear are hidden and other people tend to overlook it. While it is best that the hearing problem is identified as early as possible. So that audiologists are involved in newborn hearing screening wherein newborns are evaluated for any ear issues they may have. Secondly is assessment. They assess in detail with their clinical knowledge, interview and highly tech instruments for diagnosing hearing disorders in people of all ages. Hearing related disorders such as tinnitus, hyperacusis etc. Then balance related disorders and auditory processing disorders. Also to assess the candidacy of hearing aids or cochlear implant. They are involved in intraoperative surgeries for monitoring also. Coming to management. Now once they have evaluated the level of a person as in how much he or she can hear or how severe is the problem, audiologists work on providing appropriate management according to his or her loss or impairment. Audiologists may provide 
management via providing best benefiting assistive devices that may be hearing aids or cochlear implants or provide rehabilitative care with different coping techniques to the patient management are absolutely different for different individuals based on their impairment other than prevention assessment and management of the ear and balance related problems they are also involved in advocacy wherein they attempt to provide counseling and educational services to clients families caregivers other professionals and public regarding hearing auditory function communication and balance they are involved in various consultations with government and industry agencies for improvements that may be regarding rights to hearing impaired noise management environment and many more then there is research and manpower development audiologists are involved in conducting basic and applied research to normal processes and disorders of hearing balance communication and other related aspects they also serve as educators in universities colleges and other training centers so these were some of the professional roles and responsibilities that audiologists perform but other than these there are more like they are involved in medical legal cases administration jobs and more now let me show you where all audiologists work audiologists work in variety of settings including healthcare settings that is hospitals clinics nursing homes medical rehabilitation centers mental health facilities then in regular and special schools early intervention programs industrial settings hearing aid and cochlear implant manufacturers university colleges and their clinics state and central government agencies research centers and lastly private practice settings i would also like to tell you why this course is one of the good options to opt for as you all know people are not so much aware about this course and also not aware about the harm they do to their ears with different agents that are in their life and the increasing cases of hearing impairment and ear disorders audiologist courses are in great demand in india so this course is unique less people opt so higher demand for these professionals comparatively good salary great chances of job employments after the course to pursue a career in audiology one must be aware of an array of courses available to become an audiologist ranging from diploma courses to bachelor's and master's courses therefore gather all the information and then make a decision through this video we only try to give you information that you required the right decision for you can be made by you only all the best to everyone that was all for today's video if you need any specific answer to any of your questions regarding the course you are free to comment or mail us on aslpclub@gmail.com thank you for watching do like share and subscribe